bird watching is like a solo endeavor, just you by yourself watching stuff, and how much do you like Um, We've had more safeties come in throughout the spring. More guys try to learn the system and learn the game. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to put yourself in the best position to win. So myself, I watch film at home too by myself. But when I'm here, there's always other players around me that are trying to work to get better just like I am. Are you only watching yourself or do you watch? No, um, I watch the NFL teams, watch good NFL safeties that are playing right now. Javon Holland, um, Antoine Whitfield, guys like that that, can, that I can emulate and try to see how they play. And then also just watching my other players here, other players that do things well here, just learning from them, trying to see how they play the game, trying to get better. Caleb, what are some of the big differences that you've seen so far between what you went through at Alabama and so far what you've gone through up here? Um, a lot of it's the same. Little differences in the defense and how they operate and how they see things. But at the end of the day, football is football, defense is defense. So everybody got to get to the ball and make the tackle. What do you think of Columbus? Oh, I love the city. I love uh, High Street. I love being in the city. Love going to the restaurants here. The food's great here, so I ain't got no complaints from me. Is it kind of because it's like you have the campus all over the city, but you also have a big city? It's, it's different than Alabama because Alabama was a college town, and Tuscaloosa was not as big of a city. Here, there's a lot of people to see, a lot of different businesses that you can be a part of. So just trying to learn the city and learn what everybody has to offer here. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, no, I didn't feel like I needed to say anything because at the end of the day, I was still here at practice. I was still here with my teammates. So, I mean, I feel my, my actions speak for themselves. I'm, I mean, I don't, I don't need to say anything about that. Caden, I talked to him when he did it. And I congratulated him on his decision. I mean, if that's what he feels is best, that's what he feels is best. And I support him, but I'm here. I think, I mean, it, in life, you have to make decisions based off of what you feel is best for yourself. So that was a big decision for him. And if he feels that's what's best for himself, then I support it. But at the end of the day, for college football athletes, I think that's the best thing because the coaches have the same right to do what they do. Coach can come here for a month and leave. And I mean, then he's just leaving the player high and dry. So, I mean, if they're going to have the ability to do it, why would the players not have some type of say in their, in their life? Um, I think I can grow in what I did well last year and increase on the qualities that I wasn't not as elite at during during the season. So just being better in coverage, being better in the post, being better in my tackling, being a better communicator with my teammates, all that I think I can offer to the team and. But at the end of the day, it's got to be a team collective to go do what we want to do. What do you, I mean, this obviously is a loaded defense. What do, you, what do you think of being a big part of this defense that was elite last year and should be even better this year? Yeah, they were a very elite defense last year. And watching all the film from last year and the whole season, they played a great season. They played a lot of good defense. Excuse me, what was your question again? <laughs> Just the idea of being part, a big part of an elite defense. Uh, I mean, I can only do my part. I can only do my 111th and do my job every play. I can't, I can't try to do more than that. And every other player just has to do their job, and we'll do what we need to do. Caleb, you talked about your film watching habits. Was that the same in high school? And what did that look like for you on a regular high school? My high school coach was one of my favorite people in the world, uh, Freeman Davis. Me and him watched film together a lot, but that was more so just myself watching film and trying to grow. So. I would say I had a lot of the same habits and that is transferred over to college, but a lot of that was me and my high school coach learning the game together. And I know they're moving you around everywhere here, but you know, it seems like you're at that free safety spot as opposed to the strong safety spot you played at Alabama. Just what's that transition like? Do you feel that? Does that even matter in this kind of defense? Um, at the, I mean, it's the same spot really. To the, it's the safety to the field, the safety playing in the most space. That's what I'm used to. Um, but at the end of the day, 
I, I feel like I can play to the boundary. I can play the dime money position. I can play nickel. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to make plays wherever you're at. Hey, Caleb, uh, what, have you been, what have your thoughts been on uh, Jeremiah Stanton? A very elite athlete, a very instinctual player, has a great ball skills, should, uh, should have a big impact this year. Um, nah, JJ's his own self. JJ's his own, he's on, he's his own man. Uh, who else caught your eye in receiver three? Caleb, uh, which is in your opinion? Uh, I watched Emeka Buka a lot out of, um, in co when I was in high school, watching the games, and then last year watching some of his film. He's been an elite receiver then, and he's an elite receiver now. And, um, Cardinal Tate has had a great spring as well. I think it's been very welcoming. I appreciate everybody, and like I appreciate when I go to class, seeing people that know me, and just being able to meet them, and being able to say that I'm glad to be here, and being able to say I'm glad to be here to everybody that came up to me. Um, so I'm just, I'm very appreciative of it. Do you feel there are expectations for you? You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, people may have expectations, but at the end of the day, only one person can really judge me, and that's God. I mean, other than that, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Just how much have you been rolling between the three different safety spots? Um, every day I take reps at all three spots just to try to – it helps you understand and learn the defense from a new perspective. So being able to see the ball from the boundary safety, see the ball from the nickel spot, being able to see the ball from the dime, it helps you be able to see the whole game and be able to understand everything that goes on around you. Um, I think any defense has blitzing as part of their scheme. So I think for us, it's a great plus that we can have blitzes and that we can execute them at a high level. And I'm glad to be able to, to do my part in that. And I, I'm happy to. I'm glad. I'm happy to blitz. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, at the end of the day, you have to have full confidence in yourself. You have to have full confidence in the ability that God gave you. So last year, it wasn't, I think I could do it. It was really like, God put me here to do it. Let's do it. There's nothing else to think about. So I would say it's kind of the same thing. Just want to harp on the things that I could have done better last year. So, I mean, it's the same type of mentality. Got to go in and prove myself to myself again and not to anybody else and play my game.